Hi hey guys, um, welcome back to Guru Tech Networking Training. So in this video, we are going to learn how to download and install Windows Server 2012 R2. Remember, there are various uh, versions of Windows Servers. For example, Windows Server uh, 208, we have 2012, we have 2012 R2, we have 2016, 2019, and 2022, I believe, yeah. Yeah, so in this video, we're going to start from 2012 R2. Then maybe in the next video, we do 2016, 2019, and ultimately 2022. So we're going to install the Windows Server on a VMware Workstation uh, Pro, okay? So in the previous video, actually, we learned how to download and install VMware Workstation Pro 17 free of charge. So if you actually um, would like to install uh, the VMware, because we, are, we have to install the Windows Server on this uh, actually uh, virtual, virtualization tool, okay? All right, so you will click on this link, the link at the right top corner of, of this video. Okay, you will see, uh, you can just click at the right top corner of the video and you see a link to download VMware Workstation Pro, okay? Then, we can come and download Windows Server and install on the virtualization tool, okay? All right, so download the Windows Server, just go to your browser and type Windows Server 2012 R2 download and choose the select, I choose the first option, okay? All right, so out of the first option, you see we have various, actually various, um, uh, various uh, options here. So, English speaking, actually, you're going to choose that one. Then you're going to download ISO, okay? All right, so you just click on that one, all right? So, you see? But uh, fortunately, I managed to download it prior to recording this video. So, I'm not going to download it now. I'm just going to show you where it is right now. Here it is, yeah. So, this is the one that actually I have. You can see it's 2012 R2, right? In the server 2012 R2, right? So let's install it on our VMware Workstation Pro. So how do we install actually uh, a VM, a virtual machine, on this um, tool? To do that, you just click on Create a Virtual Machine. All right. Typical, recommended. Let's just go to Typical. Uh, create a Virtual, yeah, yeah. So just, just click on Typical. Then install a disk image. Just choose browse, then choose the lo the location of your uh, actually your uh, your file. So my file is located uh, in the virtual environment OS uh, Windows Server R2. Then I choose this one, okay, and open. All right, okay. So just click next. Then I don't have a product here right now, okay. So here we are going to choose actually standard. You see this one? Let's just use standard for this use case. Then our uh, our full name will remain. Let's just say GTEC. Okay. And uh, password. Um, okay. Password. Let's keep for this option. I'm going to show you where to set it. And uh, click next. Uh, you did not enter product key. Windows will install without one, but you must manually. Yeah. So no problem. I'll update later. All right. So we name it um, Windows Server VM R2 uh, VM. Yes, virtual machine. So we have Windows Server 2012 uh, R2 virtual machine. Then where do we want them to be? So so I want them to save, be saved on my document under virtual machines. Okay. All right. Then click next. And then uh, here is where you provision actually your um, uh, storage resource. So for this one, I'm not going to give it a um, whole of 60 actually GB. I'm going to give it like, uh, let's say 30 is enough. Yes, 30 is enough, All right? Then leave this one uh, the way it is ticked by default, All right? Then click next. And then here also, here yeah, also, you need to make few, actually, few um, uh, amendments or actually 
uh, modifications. So just click on custom model hardware. Then you see memory. Let's let's give it a uh, two GB RAM. Okay. Then processor. Um. Hmm. Because I have 16 actually, 16 cores, so maybe just give it, uh, I have, also, let's just give it two. Okay, no problem. Uh, then that one remain that one. Then network adapter. Yeah, it's very important. Yeah, it's very important actually, because um, it's a network adapter that you actually are going to use uh, to uh, provision actually network resources to that virtual machine. So in this case, if you choose the first one, which is bridged, connected directly to physical network, well, this VM will inherit similar P that is in the range with this computer. So let's just say, let's just, just say my computer right now, if I can just say CMD and IP config, yeah? So you see, you see my IP address is this one. So if you choose the first option, which is actually bridged, your the IP of the address of that VM of that virtual machine might be uh dot twenty nine thirty etc etc the same range as your local LAN. But when you choose NAT, you know what NAT actually creates. So in that case, I'm just going to go with NAT, right? Share the host IP address, okay? All right, okay. So Yes, I'll just go and uh, and uh, okay, we were here and close, yeah, just close and finish, right? So give it some time, it will come here. Yes, yeah, so you see, it's actually uh, loading. So let's just give it some time to come. It's just a normal uh, installation process the way you normally install your Windows 10, the 7, etc., etc. Right? Okay. Okay, so as you can see, our actually our installation is is completing. So let's just give it a few minutes. You see, uh, uh, we, the window actually the startup will actually restart, so that we can start uh, actually see our uh, login page. Yeah. So let's just give it some time still. Okay, so just click uh, begin install. Yep, so uh, actually you see your, uh, actually your, our virtual machine is ready for use. So you see our Windows Server 2012 R2 is ready to use and we can start actually configuring this Windows Server for sysadmin tasks. So before I can end this video, I just want to show you that, like I said, that we're using NAT, okay, NAT interface. So if you see this, actually, the the, the period that has been uh, assigned to uh, the, the the virtual machine, let me just open uh, PowerShell, right, then type IP config. Okay, just give it some time, you see. It's 88. It's not similar to what has been assigned to my local machine. Okay. All right. So that's our IP address and this is our gateway. Right. Okay. So guys, thank you so much. So let's see. Let's actually learn how to configure, download and configure Windows 10 virtual machine. Because we want to carry out sysadmin tasks, we have to uh, install a client machine. This is a server. Now we have to install a client machine to uh, do this simulation, right? Okay, so thank you so much, guys, and see you again in the next video. Bye.